Welcome back. We are about to complete first subunit of define phase. In this lesson we will see various roles in a Six Sigma project, and what are the responsibilities assigned. In the Six Sigma projects also, there is a hierarchy. The top leadership drives the projects, their buy-in is very much required whenever you are going to start any projects. There are champions who are in a position to be able to recognize problem areas of the business define and drive improvement projects, assign projects to appropriate individuals, review projects and support their completion. They are responsible for functional business activities, and to provide business deliverables to either internal or external customers. They are also responsible for a business roadmap and employee training plan to achieve the goals and objectives of Six Sigma within their area of accountability. A master black belt is a technical expert a go-to person for the Six Sigma methodology. Master Black Belts mentor Black Belts and Green Belts through their projects and supports champions. In addition to applying Six Sigma, Master Black Belts are capable of teaching others in the practices and tools. A Black Belt is a project team leader. He works full-time on problem solving in the projects and with technical support from the Master Black Belt. Black belts work on projects that are relatively complex and require significant focus to resolve. Most black belts conduct an average of four to six projects a year, projects that usually have a high financial return for the company. Green belts are capable of solving problems within their local span of control. Green belts usually address less complex problems than black belts and perform at least two projects per year. Green belts remain in their current positions but apply the concepts and principles of Six Sigma to their job environment. They may also be a part of a black belts team, helping to complete the black belt project. Yellow belts participate in process management activities. They fully understand the principles of Six Sigma and are capable of characterizing processes solving problems associated with their work responsibilities and implementing and maintaining the gains from improvements. They apply Six Sigma concepts to their work assignments. They may also participate on green and black belt projects. Beside the master black belt, black belt, green belt and yellow belt, there are team members who help in data collection, they bring the ground level experience and subject matter expertise with them. They may be also trained as white belt to have a basic understanding of Six Sigma concepts. There are process owners who are the employees of the organization, and the projects happen in the business processes under them. Once a project is complete the learning and control plan is handed over to process owners. By now we have completed the first subunit of Define Phase. Before moving on let us have a recap. We covered how and in what scenarios can Lean and Six Sigma help an organization. With the help of an example, we saw that there is a relationship between the process spread and sigma level of the process, and the link with the specification limits. We also covered the evolution of Lean and Six Sigma, how the Six Sigma project is implemented, what are its deliverable, how voice of customer is used to understand customer requirements, and just in the previous moments we saw various roles and responsibilities in a Six Sigma project. There will be a quiz after this chapter and we encourage you to attempt that. Now we move on to the next lesson. Just below this video, mark this chapter complete. Help us help you in a better way by providing feedback on each lesson. Should you need any support, feel free to contact us. We hope now you have started actively participating in the discussions going on, on our social media forums. Share what you have learnt, ask and resolve queries. Do make use of every learning opportunity. Thanks for watching this video.